So, Werner, it's great having you on uh, hashtag digital duty at my blog here. Um, and uh, I'm looking for answers uh, for our customers, for the people living in this digital society. Um, you're one of the leading uh, uh, experts in this, uh, in this field. So let's talk about artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between um, artificial intelligence and human intelligence? I think the, the biggest difference is that artificial intelligence is just computer science. Um, it lacks any form of creativity. It lacks any form of sort of the, the, the great things that make humans great. Artificial intelligence is just using data with some intelligent algorithms to make maybe predictions about the future or to investigate things that we're doing. Um, I don't think there's this, there's the number of intelligence, I think, is, is sort of greatly overrated in the kind of things where it definitely where we are at this moment with artificial intelligence. I think there's two practical applications of this. I think it's machine learning, basically taking data from the past, sort of the, m the emails that you send out to your customers, who have responded to it, and then based on that data, sort of knowing who you should be targeting in the future, or let's say natural language processing. Yeah, I think that's some of, that's the other area, that is two very practical areas that now are being suddenly seen as being majorly sort of mystic, but we've been doing this forever already. If you've been an Amazon DE customer, yeah. maybe, yeah. then you've, be, you think you've received our recommendations forever. Yeah. That was machine learning. There isn't almost anything within Amazon that is actually not artificial intelligence or machine learning, whether it's, in, whether it's inventory level setting, whether it's fraud protection, abusive review detection, all of these kinds of things are what we now call artificial yeah. intelligence, but it's just computer science. So it will take time uh, that we see the Turing test being passed or that uh, computers start dreaming? Yeah, I don't think the dreaming is, is any, any near, bare near. By the way, who cares? Yeah, I mean, dreams for us are important because they're part of our creative process. Yeah, it allows us to process things in, in moments that we are, our brains are not busy with, with sort of processing signals. And such dreaming is a very important part of the creative process. Um, but I think we're very far from actually sort of implementing these kind of creative processes in terms of, of uh, algorithms. If you look at where we are, for example, with image recognition, yeah, if we really can look at images what, which we have already seen. If we encounter a new type of animal yeah, that we've never seen before, we can still figure out, oh, that must be an animal. Yeah. A computer, if he hasn't seen it before, you will never know what it is. We see an exponential development of data. We see an exponential um, development of actors and sensors uh, in the net. Um, do we could expect an exponential increase of cyber crime and cyber risk? I, I think um, I think we've gone through an, in an early phase where people have not been thinking about it. I think the next wave of devices that are coming out, I think security needs to be the number one con concern. I think. At Amazon, we've been developing te technologies, for example, that can be integrated in each of these devices. We call it green cars. Basically, some of our cloud secure cloud computing technologies can now be delivered on each of those devices, very strongly controlling who has access to them and what kind of communication they, they can have. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the, the early, early mishaps that we've seen around this world uh, clearly can protect it. On the other hand, I'm also a strong believer in that security needs to be end-to-end. -end. It cannot only be the infrastructure that protects our customers. It really needs to make sure that as close to the customer as possible, you need to put the protections. Yeah? You, ha I you have to be secure in an insecure world. And that can only happen if you provide end-to-end, -end, let's say, security services. Right. Yeah? Not if you if the, the infrastructure needs to be secure before you can be secure, mm. that will never happen. It's part of our duty. My last question, I'm very, very impressed about the innovativeness of Amazon and especially about Alexa. Uh, you know, you came out of nothing with Alexa. Uh, now it is said Alexa uh, has witnessed a murder. Um, this causes an ethical dilemma. Uh, which is the greater value, privacy um, or the fight against crime? And how are you gonna handle this issue in the future? Well, first of all, I think, um, there is, that is a gross misrepresentation of, of what's happened there, yeah? Uh, so no comment on that particular side of it. 
I think privacy of our customers will be forever our number one pri priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so also the protection of our customers. And as such, I think, um, you know, as with, uh, for example, we talked about earlier, with in in encryption, if you do good things for good people, uh, it's obvious that sort of bad actors will make use of the same technologies, yeah? But that has been the case for, for forever. It shouldn't prevent us from actually really supporting the privacy of good people to be able to, uh, to really protect them. Thank you very much, Werner. Uh, another very insightful view from one of the leaders of the digitization industry, Werner Vogels from Amazon.